Your grow weather beginning with the drought monitor. Still abnormally dry in Nebraska through the Sand Hills, the southwest part of the state, south central Nebraska. The rest of the state, no drought. It ends up being about 28.5% of Nebraska still abnormally dry. The situation worse in Kansas, even though some pretty good rains fell on yesterday, well, during the day yesterday and overnight in southwest Kansas. The drought is still severe in southwest Kansas, about 18.5% severe, moderate in Kansas, 37.5% or just over that. And then the rest of Kansas remains abnormally dry. We'll just have to see what kind of spring we have ahead. Kind of a typo, this is actually the one month outlook for temperatures and it shows the western part of the U.S that is really in a situation above normal temperature wise, below normal in the deep south, unusual indeed, and across most of Florida, uh, almost all of Florida, just a little bit of the panhandle, uh, temperatures will be above seasonal. The rest of the country, including Nebraska and Kansas, by the way, temperatures will be near the average. Now this is the three month outlook and it covers most, almost the western half of the U.S. as far as being above normal temperatures and a big share of the south, including almost all of Kansas and southwest Nebraska. This particular uh, prediction from the Climate Prediction Center showing that those temperatures will be below normal. As far as precipitation is concerned, it looks like a very dry area, especially in the Pacific Northwest and a wetter than normal area across a big share of Kansas. And this is the bad drought area, so that would be good news, and especially down in the deep south and the southwest as well. Then as we look three months out precipitation wise, showing above normal precipitation, southwest Nebraska, the southern panhandle and roughly about the western half of Kansas and of course the southwest and dry conditions will prevail in the Pacific Northwest. And of course that goes all the way into spring. Well ahead of us this week for Groundhog's Day tomorrow we will see if Puxa 20 Phil does indeed see his shadow. Puxa Tawny Phil. Okay, warm though on Tuesday. Very warm indeed. What a fluctuation around 50 for a high. Slight chance of snow in the forecast for Wednesday at 20%. And of course, we cool down around 35. 30 then on Thursday, but we rebound with temperatures going above seasonal levels next Friday to around 43. So hopefully a a nicer weekend by far ahead of us than what we saw this weekend indeed. And we'll see what our groundhog friend says about the prediction for spring as we look ahead. Well, the almanac this week, normal highs for the week, 37, normal lows around 15. And as you saw the five day forecast there, that's about where we're gonna be at, about one degree warmer than average and one degree colder than average. And of course, uh, this week's proverb, if February gives much snow a fine summer, it doth for show. Well, that is your Grow Weather Report for this week. You're always sending us pictures, and here they are. would love to see pictures from your farm or ranch. Just grab a phone, grab your camera, email us grow at nebraska.tv or post them to us on Facebook and Twitter. And when we come back, we return to the U.S. Custom Harvester Show to meet our farm family of the month.